previous videos in the .NET Nuke video library, we've taken a look how we can create a single page and create multiple pages within a .NET Nuke 7 website. In this video, we're going to see how we can copy an existing page so that we don't have to go through the process of adding modules and all the content to that newly created page. Now we're going to start here with the About page in our .NET Nuke 7 website. You can see here in the about page, there's quite a few different areas of content currently on that page. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and copy that page. Ultimately, we're going to change the content itself, but we want to maintain the layout of that content. And by copying the page, it will prevent us from having to start from a blank page in that process. So to copy a page, we're going to go ahead and mouse over the pages menu within the control panel and we're going to choose the copy page option. Now what this will actually do is it will load up the interface for creating a new page, but it automatically loads this copy page tab to start with. So let's go ahead and take a step back and go to the page details. I'm going to create a new page called about us copy just for sample purposes. And we're going to go ahead and leave the title, the descriptions and keywords blank, but you really should populate that information whenever you're creating a page within .NET Nuke. Definitely check out our video in the .NET Nuke video library for how to create pages in .NET Nuke 7 for more information on all of the various settings when you're creating a page. We also would want to take a look at the permissions and then the advanced settings. But for now, let's focus on that copy page tab. Now the copy page tab brings us in and it has the copy from page option selected with the about page. Now we could change that at this point. If we wanted to copy a different page, we can choose a different page. Whatever page we have selected there, we will see down below a list of all of the modules from that page. So we can choose which of the modules from that page we actually want to copy. And in this case, we can see that we have a contact information, products, customer support, company, connect, about us, and our team modules all available. You can see they all have checkboxes beside them. If we did not want to copy one of those, we could go ahead and uncheck that option. We can also at this point change the module title. This is the title found in the module settings. We could change the information here, or we can leave it as is. We're also told where in the panes the module is going to exist. So we can see these first three modules, or actually first five modules, are footer modules. And then we have two in the content pane. And then finally, we have an action column. Now, the action column allows us to choose when we're copying a page, should the module that gets added to that page in this location in the footer right pane with the title, contact information, should that be a new module, a copy, or a reference? Now let's explain what that means. If we have the new module selected, as we can see all of these are selected as new, what will happen is .NET Nuke will create the page, it will place a module called contact information into the footer right pane, but there will not be any content within that module. It'll create a new version of that module, a new HTML module. If we choose the copy option, what will happen is the content that's currently on the About Us page would be copied into our newly created page. But it would be a new copy, meaning if you change the About Us page, it would not change on the About Us 2 page, the new page we're creating. And then finally, the third option here is a reference. So we can copy by reference, which means both modules on, the, on each page will share the same content. So if you change that content on one page, it will change on both pages. Reference is nice if you want to be able to have one source of content and have that content change and populate on multiple pages. But it can also be dangerous if users do not realize they're changing more than one page when they're editing a module. So for now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just choose copy for all of the modules here within the about page. Now at this point, we'll go ahead and click on add page and we'll see that we get a new page created called about us copy. And we can see all of the content here on that page. 
Now we do have blue visible by administrator only boxes. That's because we did not configure the permissions for the page. So that means that only administrators can currently see this page. But we can now go through and modify this content, make any changes we need to it, and then come back and change the permissions on the page to make it visible to everyone. So it's a brief overview of how you can use the copy page functionality within .NET Nuke to duplicate content across your website, either with a new empty version, a copied version, or even a referential copy.